welcome back to my channel um as you can tell by this video it's a vlog i haven't vlogged since um i think it was like last holiday so i definitely want to do some more vlogs and i got up at 6 a.m this morning so it's what it's 109 right now and i'm so tired <laughs> i'm like ready to take a nap but before i do that i'm going to head to ulta and see if i can find some clarisonic brush heads um for those of you who don't know clarisonic is actually going out of business so I have to like hurry up and see what brush heads I can find and maybe even get like an extra Clarisonic just because, or just like in case that one that I have now like breaks down. But Clarisonic is like my favorite thing. Well, not favorite thing, but it's like my favorite skin tool to use. Now they're going out of business, which kind of sucks. So I'm gonna see what they have, if they do have anything left over. But um, yeah, I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna take you guys with me. Every time I come to Ulta, I get sidetracked and I always end up looking at hair products first. I don't know why. These are the brush heads I found so far. She told me they're on clearance for $6. I'm so excited because they're usually like 20. So yeah, this is what the Clarisonic shelf is looking like. It's pretty much gone, but she did say there is more at the register. So I'm gonna check that out and see what else I can find. But this is pretty much it. So I don't even know when was the last time I've been to Barnes & Noble, but I am so excited. It's been a couple years. I always used to come here to like study. I would be here for hours, literally, but everything looks exactly the same. Little magazines. I might get a little magazine. I haven't done that in a while. Here you go. Thank you. Have a good one. anymore it's like the best thing ever because their lines are always so long <sighs> these smoothies might be my new favorite thing because this is my second one of the day yeah Panera Bread app is like the best thing ever it just makes things so much easier because their lines are always mad long when I order by the time I get there I literally just like pick up my meal and go so ever since then I do the same thing with Chick-fil-a and Shake Shack because again, like lines are like mad long and nobody has time to be sitting long lines. So I'm just gonna pull them out as I go. I got the Mia Smart Clarisonic. And I got another one because again, they're gonna be sold out. I've tried other like Clarisonic like brushes or whatever and they always feel cheap like I just feel like they don't do anything I feel like it's the motor or whatever it is it's very weak it's very weak the Clarisonic that I have right now in my bathroom I'm gonna take care of that for as long as I can so that way these will last for as long as they can um a lot of the brushes are a little repetitive like two of these are the same um so of course with the brushes you are supposed to change them like every couple weeks so this one is the deep pore cleansing brush and i also i actually don't have this one it's the sonic awakening eye massager i thought that was very interesting and these were actually well the brush heads these were six dollars these i have to double check but the ulta that i went to which is weird so the first ulta i went to it was 
everything was 50% off, but they didn't really have anything. And then the second Ulta I went to, they were 70% off and they had more like options. So I pretty much got all of this from the second Ulta that I went to. So this was included. Another interesting one that I've never had before is the 3D Face Sculptor. And these are usually a little bit more on the pricey side. So like the brushes are like the typical like refill brushes, but like these and these little fancy boxes, they're like the special kind of tools or whatever for your face. So this is the massager and I got the eye massager as well. And again, these were all 70% off, including um, the Clarisonics. So I got the Clarisonics for $50 each which I thought was an amazing price because Clarisonics are usually like over a hundred, almost $200. So to get them for 50 is amazing. I also am going to try the charcoal, which is more of like a detox, especially if you have oily skin and I have like oily combination skin. So I thought this was really good. I'm excited to try this. So, so far I've only tried this brush. This is the deep pour. And the only other one that I've tried is this little pink one, this little top pink one right here. It's the Radiance Booster. And that's the one I'm actually using now. And I like it a lot better than um, the Deep Pore Cleanser. I'm not sure why, but I think it has that rubber stuff. Like this one doesn't have the rubber, but this one does, I guess. So maybe it just, cleans my pores better I don't know but um this was also in clearance for the 70% off and it comes with one two three four this is the essential skin solutions and um again 70% off flies is messing with me today okay um this one I thought was pretty interesting that I've actually never seen before. It is the Sonic Foundation Brush. I don't know where I've been, but this apparently has been out for a long time. It has like the little um, examples, like how you can like highlight and contour and all that. I will probably just use this for my foundation. I just don't see this giving precision when I'm trying to do a highlight and or contour, I just don't see it. And then the other brushes, I pretty much had to get what was left. So um, I just got more of the deep cleansing brushes, the deep pour brush heads. So I have four of these. I really wish they had more of the radiance, but I really had to pretty much just, I had to take what I could get because it's, it's all that was left. I left a few more um, brush heads that were, like I didn't buy everything. I, there was like a few brush heads left but they were like stuff that I really didn't want. So I just got like the essential things that I know I could use. I am really excited about this 3D face sculptor because it says wrinkles, firmness, and radiance. Um, so hopefully it will help like my laugh lines because um, I definitely see those aging problems. So again, everything was 70% off and I got my little receipt here. Okay, so 12 items came up to $242.39. Not usually what I spend with like Clarisonics. I usually like buy them little by little, but again, I feel like I really didn't have a choice. So for Barnes and Noble, like I was saying earlier, I feel like I haven't been there in a while. And I got two little cute magazines. I got the Cosmo with Chloe and Haley and I have not like looked into magazines in a couple years. Like I used to go to Barnes and Noble all the time, like mostly for like studying and things like that. And then I just started um, studying at home or like on campus. So I haven't been to Barnes and Noble in such a long time. So when I saw this, it was the cutest thing. I thought it was so cute. So um, this is the October issue. So October, 2020 and I got an Essence because Essence magazine is an essential. So I got Essence too. And is this October? Oh, September, October, 2020. That's what it says. I'm about to, oh yeah, I have to turn on my laptop so I can um, see who the winner is. So you guys can do that 
with me now so i just logged into youtube as you can see this is my latest video so check that out when you get a chance so i'm just gonna go by um the little tutorial that i watched the other day yeah so this is my giveaway all right so we're gonna go over here to tubebuddy and we are gonna go to pick a winner choose from all comments comment must contain word so i didn't give any specific word that they should use um i just said they can pretty much comment anything so we are going to keep this going and we are going to pick a winner so pick winner <gasps> christina campos so this is my winner i'm so excited so i'm going to try to get in contact with um, my subscriber for some reason when I watched the tutorial on how to do a giveaway once they picked the winner it had like their little like email or like other social media platforms that they had so that way you can like send them a dm or like message them and let them know that they won but mine didn't do that so I'm assuming she doesn't have like anything attached like her personal email attached to her youtube so I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do this but I will notify her now I'm just gonna like respond to her comment and um, just to congratulate her and let her know that she won. I'll just like make up an email specifically for giveaways. Maybe that way she can message me and send me her personal information and we could do it that way. But for now, yeah, I'm gonna take this laptop, message my subscriber and let her know that she won and um, watch some TV. <laughs> it is friday today so happy friday um i just got home and changed my clothes got into my little comfy clothes i'm gonna turn that off so i don't know if anybody noticed in the beginning of the video um my bed frame was like a traditional like brown color and i had it for so long that i kind of wanted to get rid of it but that's not really like a purchase that i want to make right now so i decided to give it like a little makeover and i painted it white and i'll just show you this is what it looks like now with like the cute little detailing and stuff like that and i feel like i did a pretty good job um this i'm not responsible for this i don't even know how this happened but that that's a little shift there i don't know but this is like years old but yeah um cute little detailing i feel like i could have done another coat on this but because i was out of my bed for two days that's my kettle I was out of my bed for two days and um, I was just like ready to just be done with it. So clearly I'm making tea and when you're 30, that's what you do on a Friday night. You go home and you make yourself a cup of tea because you don't go to the club anymore when you're 30. I mean, you can, but that's, I don't like clubs. So I'm having my little Linton decaf green tea. Um, that is what I usually have. And I usually use two bags because I like my tea strong. I don't know, I just like the flavor of it. But yeah, I am gonna order some food. Let me just close this door. So yeah, I'm doing laundry. And um, I did a like questionnaire thing the other day and I asked what like type of content you guys want to see from me. And most of you said that you want to see um more vlogs so so the other day i did this i posted this little like questionnaire thing on youtube and i asked you guys like what type of content you want to see from me and so far 50 percent said that they want to see more vlogs which i was surprised like i thought you guys would want to see like more like skincare or like fashion stuff or whatever which i don't mind like i definitely want to vlog more i started vlogging for the first time last year and i was like in school and um, I feel like now that I'm done with school, I have a little bit more time, like even on the weekends, you know how that feeling where it's like, you feel like there's something that you have to do. For me, it was always like, I have to, you know, get an assignment done or I have to do my homework. Now I always feel like I have to do homework, but there's really no, no homework to do because I graduated. So it's a very strange feeling, but I, it's, 
it's very relieving relieving is that a word no that's not a word i'm very relieved that i graduated and i'm done with school so um i definitely do want to vlog more i just feel like sometimes with vlogs it's a lot of like small talk and i'm not like a huge fan of small talk like even when i meet people in real life they're like i'm kind of quiet because i'm not really into like oh what's going on with the weather i don't know like random stuff i just feel like small talk is like not really my thing but i am i do want to have fun with vlogging and i want it to be realistic obviously as much as i love getting done up i'm not done up every single day like this is like the basics and um yeah like i don't want to to put on a show just because I'm vlogging. Like I don't wanna put on a facade or try to make something look like more than what it is. Like I want my vlogs to be very realistic. I'll still definitely like take you guys with me. Like if I go out to dinner or I'll still do like the get ready with me's. And um, like if I go like to a vineyard or something like that, or if I go apartment hunting or house hunting, I love doing that just like on my spare time. I <laughs> just like looking at houses and looking at apartments just because I like ideas for when I actually get my house. Um, so yeah, I'll take you guys with me. I'm gonna go ahead and order my food. And um, actually, I don't feel like I'm babbling. Now that I'm talking to you guys, I feel like I'm not babbling. I feel like I'm just like talking to a friend. So maybe I'll just think about it that way. So yeah, I'm gonna order my food. I'm probably gonna try and find some type of like 90s sitcom show. If you grew up in the 90s, you will know that TGIF was like the thing to watch on a Friday night. And I was a huge fan of TJIF. So it's probably gonna be like something from that program. Of course, everybody knows like the movie Clueless, but after the movie, there was actually three seasons. It was a series of Clueless and it was three seasons. And I loved it. Like everybody thought it was boring, but that was, that was my show. Um, they did change the share, which I guess a lot of, that's probably why a lot of people didn't watch it, but I loved it. That was my show. Thank you. So the restaurant is walking distance, so I just decided to walk instead of driving. I could use a little walk, a little exercise before I eat these things. I'm about to get into these wings. I don't even know which is which. This is my cannoli. So good. I'm not gonna eat it yet. I'm gonna eat first. I'm gonna eat my chicken wings first, and then a little bit of my salad. So the restaurant I ordered from, it's pretty new. My entire shirt is wet because I just washed my hands. But the restaurant I ordered from is kind of new. It's in my area, and um. I tried their chicken Caesar salad for the first time of the day and it was really good. This is their salmon salad. So the presentation is nice. I do like that they put like pistachios in it because I had it with the chicken Caesar salad and it was really good. And they do that with the, the salmon as well. It has like little pistachios in there. But this looks good. And the wings I never had before. I feel like wings are not, you can't really go wrong with wings, but I just hope they're good. They look good. For the wings I asked for crispy and extra sauce because every time I ask for crispy, the, the crispy to sauce ratio is off. And then my wings are like extra dry, but these are the wings and they look pretty good. And I got ranch. They are crispy. I like the texture. But they're a little sweet. 
What's that about? I like plain traditional like wings, like mild wings or hot wings. And this has a bit of like sweetness to it and it's throwing me off. Like, I don't know if I like it. So I have like one or two and then if my husband likes it, he can have it. But um, I don't know. I'm gonna have my, my salmon salad. I probably should have got that in the first place. That's what I get for being greedy.